the old girls blowing ice cold there, folks. Pumping out 25 degrees on the evaporator coil. And we're pumping out just a little over 100 on the condenser. She's still building head pressure. This is the old 1965 Fitter's weather wheel, which has been here for, she's been in existence for almost 59 years. And it is still running like brand new. These old air conditioners were built to last. They have been some of the best products ever made. And a lot of people disregard these old units because they say they take too much power, but they may take a lot of power, but they are more energy efficient than the modern junk of today's era. So you can see here, this is the original fan motor, which sadly burned out. Um, gonna have to replace it, unfortunately, or get it rewound, which we're gonna lean towards getting it rewound if I can find somebody that'll be willing to do it. Um, it's a beautiful motor, as you can see, it's just a stator. So like I said, we're gonna be sending it in for rewinding as soon as we can find somebody. Evaporator coil is blowing ice cubes. Look at the thermometer here. We're blowing at 24 degrees. This thing is blowing ice cubes. Even having to use a temporary setup, this thing is still throwing full capacity. The compressor is a Tecumseh AJM reciprocating. This is a 1594. Locked bar amps is 45.0. It's got an Emerson motor in it. Date code of August 31st, 1965. And it looks like this could be the catalog number on the top there, 040E19. I think that's the catalog number. You got V115 C60, so this is rated for 115 volts. V100 is 100 volts on 50 hertz. And this is a single phase compressor. Locked rotor amps is 45.0. So if the compressor should seize up, or if it can't start, it will take locked rotor amps in order to try to get going again. The discharge is nice and hot. Suction line is coming back cold. You can see here we're right between 24 and 25 degrees Fahrenheit. So this thing is really running well. It's always ran well ever since I first got it. Still waiting on the other unit, the Comfort Air Quiet Master. Not sure when we're gonna get that. But uh, as soon as my friend can get his flooring rebuilt, he said he's gonna get it out for me. And we're gonna bring that in for restoration and it's going to be a really nice surprise to see an old Comfort Air Quiet Master running with a 1965 Fetters Weather Wheel. This thing is an absolute beauty. These things are some of the coldest blowing appliances I've ever seen. This thing runs like brand new almost six decades later. And these things are just absolutely incredible. People say, all oh, these aren't very energy efficient. Well, they got another thought coming because these things are more energy efficient than modern junk of today's era. These things can get more BTUs per watt than modern air conditioners could. So these things are absolutely incredible. This is a rare 12,000 BTU model in the 220 configuration even though it is 115 it looks like a 220 unit it's the same size as one so these are these are definitely interesting having the design of a 14,000 BTU but yet being on 12,000 BTUs on 115 volts so this is a pretty rare and incredible design and a lot of people have even said to me you know these old units are rare because of this design that they use. Going at 26 degrees, so we are blowing ice cubes. You can even see here, we got sweat already starting to form on the coil. You can see here, we got minimal frost, it's just coming back ice cold. Now the cool thing about these reciprocating compressors, people always say, oh, these compressors are not designed for liquid refrigerant. 
Well, a reciprocating compressor can actually handle a bit of liquid refrigerant. Compressors like these are equipped with what's called an anti-slug feature, which keeps liquid refrigerant moving and it keeps the compressor from slugging itself while it's working. So that's definitely a major advantage that Tecumseh products have put into this design is an anti-slug feature. These things are absolutely beautiful. Like I've said before, I think vintage air conditioners are some of the best appliances ever built. We are still blowing ice cold. This thing always blew ice cold and it always will. Air coming out there is ice cubes. And coming off the condenser, we're coming off nice and hot. So we're gonna go ahead and take another temperature reading now that the head pressure is built up on the condenser. Um, we're gonna go ahead and take another reading here. See what we're looking at. Let that get up to temp. Should be running right around 115, 120. That's what this is usually rated for. Got the GEW25 running because it's beautiful out today. We are running at 113 degrees, 114. So that's right about spec for a unit like this size. This is right about spec. Even with the smaller high velocity fan, doing the job of the original fan while the motor awaits restoration. This thing is still performing really well. There's a nice amount of heat coming off the condenser coil and these things are built to last. At 115. So yeah, these things are very good machines. I don't care if people say all oh, modern junk is so much better than vintage units. Well, I'm sorry to say this, but those of you that think modern units are better, you're absolutely wrong. These vintage units are built to last. They will run for many, many years, even with minimal maintenance, and they will last a lifetime. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you wanna see any more air conditioner startups, feel free, to, feel free to leave me a comment down below and tell me which one of my other air conditioners you want to see get fired up and we will fire it up thank you for watching